Every once in a while, an update to Lightroom or Photoshop comes out with a tiny little feature that I wasn't expecting, and it ends up being one of those things that saves a lot of time when I need it. In this specific case, it's those tiny little sensor spots, those little dust spots on your photos that up until now, we've really had to remove manually, but now uh, inside of Photoshop Camera Raw, we've got an automatic way to do it. Let's jump in and take a look. Now, while this feature is in Camera Raw, you don't need a raw photo. I've actually got a photo open in the main Photoshop interface here. So all you gotta do is head to the filter menu, go down there to Camera Raw Filter. But of course, if you open up a raw or a DNG photo, it'll open into Camera Raw first. Then we head over here at the little erase icon on the right hand side, click on that, it opens up the remove section. I know a lot of people are gonna ask why this isn't in Lightroom, it's just an Adobe Camera Raw, or is Adobe got some conspiracy to try to separate the two, all the who, guys, I, here's the deal. Nobody from Adobe has ever said this. Um, I believe they want to keep Lightroom and Camera Raw on par with each other, but to me, it seems like Camera Raw is a little bit of a testing ground, get some features out there in the wild, see how they work, adjust them over time before they make their way prime time. In fact, when you go to the new dust section, you'll see it even says early access down there, okay? So right now, there's no settings to apply. If I were to zoom in on the photo, you can see there's definitely a decent amount of spots up there. So it essentially looks like I took the lens off my camera, looked into the center, sneezed on it, and then decided to have dinner over it as well. So, um, but we'll go down there. All you gotta do is just click apply and Photoshop's gonna go through and find all those spots for you, okay? So while there's no settings to start with, if we were to hover over, we can see all the little dots and everything. And if we were to click on a dot and then also the next question comes up, what about if it missed the spot? Well, we do have a couple of options from there. Really quick, I wanted to jump into the video to announce that I have once again teamed up with Dave Cross for the Lightroom Virtual Summit 2025. So if you're watching this before late September 2025, you're gonna wanna take advantage of this one. I know this is a Photoshop video, but a lot of you use Lightroom as well. The idea behind it is it's totally free. So it's a five day virtual event and each day the classes air and as part of the free pass, you get to watch those classes for 48 hours after they air, okay? Now, once that time is up, you also have the option of purchasing the VIP pass and that gets you lifetime access. So you can watch the classes whenever you want, but it also gets you class notes as well as all the bonuses and things that the instructors uh, prepare specifically for the VIP pass. So this is shaping up to be one of the biggest ones that we've had. I, I, I looked at the class list, I helped create the class list, but uh, the instructors submit the classes and I've been, working with Lightroom since it first came out. And there's classes in there that I'm thinking I wanna go watch. So uh, I really, as we've put together 15 of the best instructors in the world, uh, over 45 classes. So I do hope that you'll join us, whether it's gonna be for the free pass or the VIP pass, make sure you check out the link for a little bit more info. All right, so back to our video over here. So as you hover over the photo, we just applied the dust spot removal. As you hover over the photo, you can see all the little spots. And so there's a few things we can do from here. Number one, you can click on it. And then you'll see once I click on the spot down there at the bottom, it says a little, a little section says selected. So I guess if it didn't remove the spot the right way, you could hit refresh and it'll refresh it and do it better. And then there's also a delete button where you can re remove that spot or you can click on one. If it if it did try to remove something that it shouldn't, uh, you can go ahead and click on it and just hit the delete key and that'll make it go away as well. The follow-up question to all of this, because I started noticing this when Adobe introduced the people removal, is people would ask, well, what about if it missed something, okay? and And for me, there's, there's, actually a, there's actually something even more than that because the only way I can usually see spots and the only way I would really know if it missed something is when it comes to spot removal, visualize spots, which is grayed out up here. This is where I lived when it came to removing little dust and sensor spots on the photo, but you can see it's grayed out when we go down here into dust removal. So I'm, I'm hoping at some point that maybe Adobe gets in there and, and enables that while we're still in this mode. So. I can see if I missed anything, but right now 
if you're not sure, which again, I'm usually not sure without going in and zooming into the photo, uh, what you can do is just head up to the, the, all of your tools up there are still there. So the same thing goes for people removal. If it misses something, just come up to your, your remove tools up there. So I would go to the healing brush for spots. And then once I do that, the visualize spots checkboxes is, is no longer grayed out. So now I can go in here, I can turn it on, I can use the little adjustment slider and I can see uh, if I missed anything along the way. So for me, this is the only way that I could see it. I, I just, I don't want to zoom into my photo to a thousand percent and look through. And this was always the easiest way for me to find those. Once you do find any spots, if it did miss them, right or left bracket key for that healing brush to make the brush smaller or bigger, and then just go and click and paint on any of those spots to, uh, to get rid of them. And then when you're done, just turn that little checkbox off. So either way, this is this is a huge time saver. If you're somebody that's ever had to go in and remove dust and center spots, you know it can be a really tedious process and, and the automatic way uh, gets, gets most of the job done. So it's a huge time saver. Uh, speaking of time savers, I did a video a while back in July when uh, some new updates came out for Photoshop. A lot of them were around distractions and really do save some time in removing distractions. So if you're looking for another video to go watch next, it's a great place to go.